what she probably said in her mind when I made that little clip at the beginning of the video but I, I couldn't resist she was a loaf a, a real cat loaf so um, we're going to be starting off with uh, this is going to be a uh, if Google's going to add can you stop acting up Google alright back to what I was saying this is going to be a future tower video. It's a half cell tower, half radio tower, I think. Not too sure. I don't know what those antennas are used for. This is a red and white cell tower. So, um, this here is, um, uh, this here, you already know, it's a red and white cell tower. It used to have a, uh, on um, a modern incandescent beacon, but it was um, replaced by this flash technology dual show. I think this is flash technology. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, there's old street view to where you're able to see the old beacon. This is not old enough. Google Google Maps is just acting up for some reason. It's taking forever to load anything. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Still has it strode there. Well, guys, the moment of truth. I have no idea if this is old enough street view, but let's find out. I see something red up there. Oh, it, it's just a dual strobe again. Well, crap, now I lost it. Hey, look at the nice shoes. Oh, look, look, I found it. I found it. I'll try not to lose it. No, no, never mind, I lost it. I lost it, and it's not around this area. Well, crap. Okay, I have found it once more after looking for hours upon hours. Ugh. Holy crap. This is a, this was a, this is probably the hardest tower to find on this list. Ugh. I don't think I'm ever going to get oh, so many, any of I don't think I'm ever going to be able to show the old beacon on here because none of this street view is old. And um I think the street views. Uh, I think the street view. Um, it has to be. Uh, come on, let me go to come and go. No, don't. All right. Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually? Yeah. All right, I found it again. Nothing's going to make me lose this now. Let's see this old street view or not. Please, 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 please. Okay, I gave up hope already. You gotta be kidding me. I want to see the incandescent big Well, um, I guess it's safe to say that I can't find any street view of the old beacon, but I did find some picture. Let's see if this picture is old enough to where the incandescent beacon is there. That is way too blurry to even see. Holy crap. Oh crap, I'm in the building. I'm in the building! Here's some more street view with the invisible car there. Another invisible car. You actually kidding me? There's this this building's blocking the tower. I give up. There it's impossible to find any street view near this tower with this incandescent beacon. Uh, finding uh, finding anything in downtown Springfield. On Street View is nearly impossible. It takes a lot of time. It took me a lot of time to find this. But I do want to make a video of this one day. Next time I go to Springfield. Maybe. I don't know. But it's, this is going to be a future tower video. No more. Please. I don't want to deal with this tower anymore. I don't want to deal with Brent, I mean, I don't want to deal with uh, downtown Springfield anymore. It's hard to find anything down here.
this here was hard to find as well. I guess everything is hard to find in um, in Springfield and, and with Street View and all that. So this here is a, a small monopole in Springfield. It used to have, um, here you'll see, it used to have a flash technology dual strobe on it, which I very, very, which I really, really miss very much because I'm, um, because um, I'm, every, like, um, when I was little and me and my family would come down here all the time, I would usually see this and I'd be amazed of how, of how it would have a beacon, even though it was so small. Oh, and this here as well, um, that will be recorded as well because it's kind of impossible to to dodge it. By the way, I'm going to be I'm making a video of this. It's going to be a remake because I made a video of this like um before uh, like it's somewhere around August of 2019. In that time, it got its beacon replaced. Sadly, this is the very first time I ever seen a tower with a white and red beacon without markers. So yeah, this was a big tower for me. Because um, it's the first towers I've seen without markers, and now that's all gone. It's st it's still it, the LED um, the LED is a modern LED shines white at day, red at night. Though I have not seen it at night mode yet, I don't think. But it still has no markers. Good, that is good because um, that's the way I always known. I that's the way I always known it. And even, even if it had markers, it probably would have flashed. And what the heck is going on with the street view? Yeah, don't really know. But um, I'm really not happy about what uh, what they did to this tower. Um, this is a very memorable tower. And it got some... I mean, it got a strobe by replaced with an, with, an, with an LED. I'll never forget the person who did this. I don't know. Yeah, I was not happy when I first found out when I um first found out um that it now has an LED. Cuz I already known that um that um there's not going to be another strobe light to replace it if the LED dies. They're never going to replace they're, they're I don't know any company that's making um strobes anymore. I wish I could I wish um I wish I had a um another Oh my god. I ah, I don't know why it always happens. Just um, I wish um I had a beacon company myself so I can um um, so if so I would make strobes and incandescents and some LEDs but not much, because of my hatred for them. But I would make strobes and incandescents even though they're um quote unquote outdated by FA's words. Which I don't listen to them anyways. So um, there's the next tower. This is going to be a remake. So um, here's the next one. This is going. To, this is also going to be another remake video, or just a second video, and just entirely not uh, not remaking the other one. Just um, making a little update. This tower um met an unfortunate LED fate. If you didn't know already, this tower used to have an F an FH three hundred six white and red dual I mean single strobe, but it's been replaced by a modern LED, and the the even more the worst thing, I think the worst thing about it is um uh, well, what the um, the second worst thing about it is, um it got markers as well, but they're flashing side markers, so I was not happy. With with this new beacon replacement, I'll never be happy with the with the new beacon replacement. I never will. This tower is the reason why I know. Uh, this tower is um the reason why, um I um found out the the existence of um white uh, of white and red single strobes, because before that I always thought that um single strobes were only able to shine white, until I seen this tower. Which was a. Uh, a very long time ago. I think the first time I ever seen... I think the first time I ever actually recognized it. When I really, really um, gained my passion for towers and tower beacons. Was like 2010 or something. 
not too sure anymore. But I remember this tower. It's from the 2000s, I think. It was built in that time. Not very sure. But it may have been built in the 90s because it because of how it has a, a beacon that was made in the 90s and uh, somewhat in the 2000s as well, like the early 2000s, until um, dual strolls were created to replace these. Which, um, it would have been nice if they left the beacons on these towers and the dual strokes were just, were just made for, uh, it would have been nice if they were just made for, um, new towers that were being built at the time. But that never happened. And this was one of the only remaining towers in Missouri that I know of that has, uh, that had a, that had one of these rare beacons. But now it's been replaced by a Stupid LED. This is why I hate modern LEDs. Especially the side markers. They ruined this tower. They ruined it. They ruined it. I'm, I'm still not happy about it. So the reason why I want to make a video of this again is because I want to get closer to the tower. To, to, show the, to show more of the beacon. So um, that's what I want to do. I just want to um, film it again. Show more of the new beacon. Let's just say hello to the LED. We need a funeral for um, the tower of the past because uh, because um, this tower is no longer the same. It will never be the same. It just won't. It, it never will. That is the tower of the past. The tower of the future now, ha the tower of the present, the, the present tower now has an LED. Man. This makes me miss my childhood. I wish I could really relive that. Back when this tower used to have this strobe. But it doesn't anymore. And that really sucks. So, um... There's that, uh... Oh, come on, get out of here. That one video probably drained my battery. I can't get closer to these. What the heck? I can't. Well, um, let's show some other towers I'm going to make a video of in the future. I never got to film this at night mode with its old beacon. That is a really, really strong regret of mine. Here is the next tower that I want to make. Another tower, another video of this. I'm going to be remaking the videos I already made of this tower. Probably because um I decided to film the tower at day and night in separate videos and not the same video. Um, and I just want to remake it. I just want to film these towers again before these um before their beacons um get replaced with the. Uh, with the um, flash, I mean uh, modern modern LEDs. Holy crap, that was hard to say. There's another tower in Branson, somewhere down there that has a. Um, it's another water tower cell tower hybrid, just like this one. Um, it, they both have the same beacon and everything. So um, I would just want to remake a video. I just want to to shoot to record um, these again. And yeah, the strobe didn't really show up much on um, on both videos. They did at a distance, but not right close, right, not right next to them. Um, sadly enough, because when I film when I filmed this tower, I was I was parked at this Walmart here uh, because uh, I wanted to get a close view of it, but it didn't really show up that much. And um, I wanted to make a video of it where the beacon is showing up really, really good before it's before its strobe light inevitably gets replaced with a modern LED. All right, so I'm, um, I already made a video of this ride here, but I want to make another video of it because um, because uh, oh never mind, I didn't exist that this street view, but um, I want to remake a video of the video I already already made of this um. Mostly because I filmed it while um, in the car driving past it. And the other reason why is because it has the all rare night mode only LEDs. I mean night mode only um, modern LEDs. 
so yeah, it has some night mode only modern LEDs. It's kind of rare to see. But yeah, there's that. It's kind of weird for this tower to have a, a beacon, a full-fledged beacon on it. And it has two of them as well. It does. It's kind of weird to see, even though this is not like a, it's not over um, 200 feet. It's kind of weird. Though the, the water towers have beacons on them. So there must be some, I do know that there's an airport here, but um, not very sure where it's located. It must be located near this area because uh, this has beacons on it. So um, they surprising they surprisingly work at day and night. You know they're even though they're only uh, even though they're night mode only. Um, they they for some reason they they uh, flash at day as well. But um, it's not your net. It's not day mode like anything. It's not your day mode or anything like that. It's just a normal red. So it kind of looks pinkish. It's kind of dim because of the sun and stuff. So you're not very, you're not able to see it that much. So you're not very able to see it that much, basically. You're only able to see it um, at night, at, far away and all that. The tower itself lights up as well. Not sure what type of ride this is. Not really, not really sure what type of ride this is called. So yeah, I'm not too sure why this has LEDs. It would be nice if they had like a strobe lights and iridescence, like a, a two pairs of single strobes and two pairs of modern, actually one one uh, one modern iridescent beacon and the other one old school. <laughs> That's why I want. That's why I would do. That would have been the best thing ever. I would love this thing much more than I do now. Though the the beacons do kind of have the shape of a, of crappy LEDs for some reason they do. They have the shape of crappy LEDs. I don't I don't know. Not very sure. Uh, let's move on to the other water tower. Here's the second water tower cell tower hybrid. It has a flash technology dual strobe on it, and um. I have seen this. Uh, I have seen the beacon on emergency night mode before, not in person. It would be nice to see him, to see it on um, backup night mode in person, but I haven't seen it in person. There's some news report somewhere around Branson of either a crime that happened or just something bad or that happened or uh, probably uh, probably new construct some something being constructed because like let's face it. Every day, something new gets built in Branson, Missouri, because um, Branson is kind. Of, it, Branson is an icon to uh, to Missouri, so there's that. I have filmed this at day and night, but the beacon didn't really, the, the strobe didn't really want to show up on camera um, during the demo video, sadly. Um, and I just want to make another video of this um, before it's uh, beacon. Gets replaced by an LED, which is something that I fear. So, um, maybe one day, for some reason, um, this here, you see that, you see in the middle of this, um, Ferris wheel, those lights there, that white circle, those have LEDs on them, like tiny, like, they're just lights. For some reason, they they flash the exact same rate as a modern LED on night mode. They do. Even though this is not a modern LED, it's it's just normal lights with the spirit of an with a with the soul of an L, of, of a modern LED. It's weird, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So there's uh, it's not too far away from the other water tower, along with that little um ride thing. I don't know, but yeah, this is going to be the last tower of the video. This is going to be the last um, future tower videos for a while. Because I'm starting to get, I'm starting to lose track of all the towers I want to film in the future. So, yeah, there's that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.